Hello, Leo, and welcome to your Capricorn season tarot reading. This message may apply to you if you have Leo as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. This is a general message for the collective. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. What messages do Leos need to hear at this time, this Capricorn season, which I believe goes until around January 20th? Um, yeah, what is new? What are the themes that Leo should be focus on, focusing on? Um, what's the overall energy? What's the advice? What's good for Leo placements? It's fun for me. Whoa. Because I'm a Leo rising. And so I also watch this me these messages for myself. And it's fun to see how it plays out. And um, revisiting old videos and being like, oh yeah, like that happened. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, the first card that came out, okay, is the Page of Cups. So this is a new creative opportunity, um, or it could be a new love interest. It is something that is approaching you and it's something that is deeply fulfilling, um, emotionally fulfilling, um, passionate. Like your your heart is what's... Oh my God, I literally don't know how to speak. This is something that is new and it's coming your way and it's going to make your heart very happy and you're going to want to invest your emotional and creative energy into this. Um, so when other cards come out, I can tell you more about that. Um, well, okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles upright. Fuck me up. I fucking know it. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, upright. This is all about, uh, inspiration, getting new ideas, feeling your fucking third eye crown chakras opening and just having all these ideas um, in reverse, maybe it's more subtle, um, or it's something that takes shape only after you kind of start putting the pieces together, um, Ace of Swords in reverse, yeah, so, I don't know, this is, this is a new idea, um, maybe it's, it's been kind of blocked, maybe, your mental capabilities, like you've you've just been experiencing some brain fog, which is a ton of people have been experiencing that. But um, now is the time that that is being lifted, and you will start to feel your create creative juices flowing again. Um, and I know for Leos, we love to be in the limelight, on stage. We want people to recognize our talents and our strengths and give us our accolades. Um, and so it kind of sucks if you've been in this stagnant energy and not feeling creative, but don't worry not because creativity is striking and that is going to lead to money. Ten of pentacles. This is basically like the end result of all the time and effort and energy you've been putting into something. Um, and you having that financial security, um, this is also... A great card if you have like made a change and you want that long-term financial stability um, maybe you could have opened a bank account or got a new job or just there's something that you've been investing in and this is kind of saying like you are financially secure you can totally treat yourself invest in yourself um, because you you have abundance and you have to treat money that way um in the sense that you believe it's always going to come back to you um because you are secure and you know you're going to be having a lot of eyes on you and with the page of cups like i said new um new creativity but also could be ah jesus christ okay 
It also could be um, a new love interest um, who sees how fucking amazing you are. And um, the Empress just came out. Okay. So this is some Venus energy. I feel like Leo's, I've definitely been noticing this with myself, um, definitely stepping into their feminine energy. And I just said this in the Cancer reading. Feminine, masculine energies doesn't have anything to do with gender. Um, but feminine energy is more receptive and letting letting opportunities and people and abundance flow to you without being so active and chasing things all the time. Um, you could find this time that you are beautifying your spaces and your yourself. Um, I know I want to get a haircut and wax my eyebrows and just like change up my wardrobe. So you, you could be feeling inspired to change up your appearance um, and just revel in, in your own beauty and your own feminine energy and watch as abundance flows to you, creativity flows to you with ease. With ease, all right? <laughs> Six of Cups. Oh my God, yes. This is so perfect. And I'm like relating to this reading so hard. Um, okay, Six of Cups. So what made you happy when you were a child? Um, think back to the the innocence of childhood and, and how happy and free um, it felt to just be a kid and not have responsibilities and, and let your creativity and your imagination run wild. Um, and you could have been, you know, playing with your siblings or with friends and Things just felt lighthearted, um, so it could benefit you at this time to revisit the past um, and do do activities that you liked when you were younger. Um, oh, this is so sweet! Yeah, I have a, a Six of Cups playlist um, that I listen to when I'm feeling nostalgic. Um, and you know, the Six of Cups with the Page of Cups, I'm really like intrigued now because you could be. It could be like someone new coming into your life. I'm really feeling like it could be like a, a romantic partner that just makes you feel safe and loved. Um, like your inner child. Um, maybe if, if you've been hurt in the past, like there's someone coming around who's going to accept you and love you for who you are. And you feel like, Keep dropping all these cards. You feel like you can let your guard down. Okay, we have the hanged man. Um, this could be Pisces energy. You could have Pisces placements. Um, the hanged man, it fell on the floor, so honestly, I don't know if it's supposed to be um, upright or reverse. But the hanged man is all about taking time to sit with yourself, be still, and reflect. Um, and that kind of go, goes perfectly with the Six of Cups. Um, if there's anything, <sighs> anything with your, your past or, you know, childhood wounds, trauma, stuff like that, um, I feel like you've really been working through that and, um, working on yourself and healing yourself. Um, and the, you're realizing this, this Capricorn season, you, you don't have to do it alone. Um, you've been... You've been like learning how to be with yourself again and just chilling and, and embracing um, time alone. And you could be creating a lot. You could be um, writing music. I know I've been very inspired lately, uh, making art. Um, but yeah, I feel like uh, meditation, if that's like a big practice for you, that or yoga, just anything um, by yourself and um, sitting with your thoughts and emotions um, is super beneficial for you during this time. Um, you could be hanging out with family, um, and just people that you know and trust and that make you feel loved and supported. Um, yeah, and then we have at the bottom of the deck the Two of Pentacles. So, this is someone who is balancing responsibilities, um, balancing choices, um... Okay, so there was a reading I did before, I think it was Cancer, that had um, 
Two of Wands, and I feel like that's more like walking into your future. Um, two of Pentacles, there could be just two things that you're juggling right now. Um, literally juggling, look at this guy. But um, yeah, I feel like you're going to be getting into a groove and figuring out like where you want to spend your energy, what you want to prioritize. Um, so that you can feel more balanced. Um, yeah, I'm really feeling just you're, you're stepping into your, um, Ven Venusian energy of just sitting back, receiving blessings, creating, letting abundance flow to you. Um, and that's fucking awesome. Sorry I curse so much. I'm just so excited for us Leo placements. So, um, yeah, I hope this reading resonated. Um, if it did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Uh, I don't know how to YouTube. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching and have a happy new year.